I missed last year's lantern, right? Because I joined like at the very end of when boom and missed lantern right all together so i'm not missing it this year here we are so we're going to check up on ming wong uh see how the lantern right is going after the little crane quest i believe so here we go also be sure to tell them that though the lantern right may be complicated everything must be done properly oh, it looks like it's gonna happen anyways yay hello lady ming wong it's us again We're not disturbing you, are we? No, of course not. You are my honored guests. And given the looks of you two, I presume that you're here to celebrate the Lantern Rite? Yes, because I missed it last year and I'm not missing it this year never again. That's right! So what's on the agenda for the festival this year? As always, there will be a variety of activities taking place. Oh, but there is one of particular interest. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is planning a fireworks show this year. Ooh. It should certainly be worth your time. I love fireworks. We need to get um, Yoimiya in this little fireworks show thing because she'll be... It's her expertise! Releasing Ming Shao lanterns has always been at the heart of the Lantern Rite. But with all that has occurred in Liyue as of late, I think the people of the city need something to warm their hearts. A feeling of everyone coming together in solidarity. Oh man, I was hoping to get some lanterns because they look like jellyfish. I saw on YouTube what they look like and they look like jellyfish and I love it. Okay. So, I believe <clears throat> that this year calls for a celebration of particular magnificence. Something that would be closer to the hearts of every citizen. We are currently in the process of placing fireworks at various locations all throughout Liyue. We shall choose a timely moment during the festival to set off all the fireworks in unison, allowing the sparkling lights and excitement to resonate with the hearts of the people. Wouldn't that be dangerous? <laughs> I hope you're putting it in like places where people won't mess with them. You know what I mean? Like, especially kids. Just saying. Fireworks? But we've already seen fireworks in other places before. Yeah. In Azuma. Is there something special about the fireworks in Leor? I doubt it. It's probably just fireworks if I want. <laughs> fireworks were originally developed alongside many other inventions here in Liyue. When our ancestors first created fireworks, they were originally known as firecrackers. Their bright flashes and loud sounds were often used for warding off beasts or as warning signals to other people. Oh, a little history lesson for y'all. Pay attention. In those days, it was difficult for people to contact one another while out farming the land, so they would carry firecrackers with them to give signals when necessary. Huh. But people's lifestyles began to change after Leo Harbor was founded. They no longer had to travel out of town to tend the fields anymore, so the use of firecrackers for emergencies also began to dwindle. Didn't they also use firecrackers in war? If I'm not mistaken, in... Chinese history? I could be wrong. I don't know much about Chinese history. I'm basing my knowledge off of whatever I've seen in media, so correct me if I'm wrong. But through our local customs, the pioneering spirit of the firecrackers has been passed down to this very day. We made improvements to firecrackers and began setting them off during the Lantern Rite to commemorate the tenacious spirit of our ancestors. Classic Liwei. Wow. Everything has so much history in Liyue! Yes, you love a rich history. As I'm sure you already know, everything on this land accumulates history and value as time passes. That is the nature of Liyue. I love that the J Chamber is in the background now. I've left Kuching in charge of the fireworks show. If you're interested, why don't we pay her a visit together? Yes, I want to see all the girls. We need to add a few more locations for launching fireworks. The show has to be visible all across Liyue, not just in the city. They celebrate Lantern right in Qingsa Village too, you know. I would expect the whole nation of Liyue to do that. So it's not just Qingsa Village, but like everybody else. And like, I don't know, Shinho's um, 
village and the other small villages you see, you see uh, sprouted around Liwe. <laughs> but, Lady Kuching, what about our budget? Uh, don't worry about money, dude. The budget is exactly what it's meant to be. It's the necessary amount of funds to properly carry out a task. If you think the current budget will not suffice, then we'll simply have to apply for more funding from the Ministry of Civil Affairs and wait for their approval. Like I said, don't worry about money, dude. Our aim is to organize <clears throat> a memorable lantern rite. The budget is there just to facilitate planning. We mustn't lose sight of our goal. Yes, Lady Kuching. I understand. Good. And please remember, safety first. Yes, always remember, people. Safety first. <sighs> Oh, oh, it's Ningguang and the Traveler. <laughs> she was Good with to us. See you. Oh, she was with us. I didn't even. I thought she was. She went back inside of the um. Penchuan. Nope. I don't know what it's called, but inside the building. My bad. Oh, the lights turned on. Are you here for the lantern, right? Your timing couldn't be any better. The preparations are almost complete. What are you working on, Kuching? I'm reviewing the positioning of the fireworks and double-checking the relevant facilities. It's all in a day's work. Forgive my directness, but if I'm not mistaken, you could just as easily leave these tasks to your subordinates. You've already been working around the clock these past <gasps> few days. I'm sure a break would not be amiss. Yeah, Miss Workaholic. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Really, I can handle it. Take a break. Pungi, please redraft our plans, make a summary report, and send it to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm going into town to check the progress of the fireworks setup. I'll return shortly. Mm -hmm. As for you, Traveler, you're our esteemed guest. Please take the opportunity to stay in Liyue Harbor and enjoy the festivities. Pungi, is everything clear? Please remember the tasks I've given you. Yes, Lady Kuching. Don't worry. Good. Ningguang, Traveler? Goodbye for now. Already? Man, she's such a busy bee. Please, excuse me, Lady Ningguang. And, uh, Traveler. I must get going. Lady Kuching told me a great deal of information, and I have to write up the plans from scratch again. So time is of the essence. Oh, uh, one moment. I almost forgot. Here, Traveler. This is a launch tube. Lady Kuching said you may be interested, so she had me keep one to give to you. Someone with good handicraft skills should be able to use this to design their very own fireworks. You should try it when you have the chance. Thank you. I will gladly accept because I want to see fireworks. <laughs> Paimon mm. couldn't get a single word in just now. Uh, well, more like Paimon didn't dare in her mouth while they were talking, but still. Kuching definitely had an imposing presence. Did you notice it too? Lady Kuching is a lot more outspoken than she used to be. That was good. And she seems a whole lot busier too. Wonder why? Because it's Lantern right, and she's... I'm pretty sure she enjoys it just as much as everybody wants to see it perfected. Ever since the Adepti left Liyue Harbor in the hands of mortals, we Qixing have taken up the responsibility of leading the people. We have taken charge of many vital tasks in various sectors, and we are responsible for planning and organizing all sorts of affairs. That said, being in charge of everything inevitably takes its toll. It's exhausting at times. Take a break. Jiangzhou was responsible for planning the lantern ride in former years, but her father is getting quite old now, so she transferred to another department this year. In the end, the lantern ride planning was left to Kuching and myself. I am the head organizer, while Kuching is responsible for the highly anticipated fireworks show. Such an important event should be entrusted to the most qualified candidate. Kuching is disciplined, yet passionate about her work, so she's naturally the best fit for the job. <laughs> workaholic. She's definitely disciplined. No doubt about that. Absolutely. She is strict with both herself and others, to the point that she can even become overly involved at times. She's worked several days without a break now. I'm concerned about the effects it may have in the long run. Yes, that's why you need to take a break. 
Finding balance is an essential concept in Liyue culture. I agree. I've tried talking to her, but you know how she is. She uses her wit to talk circles around anyone. Is that what that was? <laughs> okay. Traveler, you are quite close to Kuching. Why don't you try talking to her? Maybe she'd listen to someone as experienced as you. Uh, sure. Leave it to me. Thank you, Traveler. I am glad you were able to help. Kuching can be a tough nut to crack sometimes. Mm hmm I have. Okay. <laughs> I still have other business to attend to at the Jade Chamber. I'll leave Kuching in your capable hands. Okay. All right, Paimon, what do you have to say? Uh, are you sure you can really persuade Kuching to take a break? Even Ningguang herself couldn't manage to convince her. Maybe if she ordered her, she would? Besides, before you can persuade someone, you have to at least understand how they feel at the moment. Mm -hmm. Kuching has been working non-stop without a break. So she must feel very tired. Duh! Come on, everyone knows that! Think harder! How does she feel deep, deep down inside? Uh... Or... Maybe... Oh, we can ask a friend! You know, someone more knowledgeable about these things. Let's go talk to Zhongli then. Huh? Zhongli? He's really knowledgeable about the people of Liyue. at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Let's go see if he's there. You might as well just work there to get more on, man. At this rate. I got the divorce. Okay, we're gonna go find Zhongli now. <laughs> I just saw them sit down. Hang on. Oh, it's Zhongli! Go back! <laughs> this is funny. Old friends. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, I am so full. Not another bite. Hi, Philo. <laughs> Hi, Goba. Hats off to you, Xiangling. Serving the grilled fish with a dipping sauce is quite an innovative approach. The flavor is just to die for. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's my signature dipping sauce. I knew it would taste great. Hmm. Tempered Jueun chili powder mixed with garlic paste and chopped scallions. Then seasoned with salt, vinegar, and soy sauce. Before finally sizzling in hot oil. I have not missed this voice at all, y'all. Yes, I have. <laughs> this recipe may seem a bit crude, but is entirely hinged on the precise balancing of flavors and seasonings by the mm. chef. Everything must be balanced just right. It is the consummate mastery of this balance that turns a humble dish into an exquisite one. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's quite the compliment, don't you think? Very insightful, too. <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you, Mr. Zhongli. And I thought I have a way with words. But you certainly take the prize, Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> you are too kind, Director. Your eloquence is... <clears throat> infamous. In Liu Harbor. You were gonna be rude here just a moment ago, weren't you? <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, would you like to order something, Guoba? Oh, please, by all means, it's my treat. I'll just open a tab under Xiangling. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> hey, are you guys talking about tasty food again? Guoba's so cute. Oh, it's the traveler in Paimon. What brings you to this side of town? Looking for Mr. Zhongli, actually. Hold on, let me take a wild guess. Hmm, yes. Oh, you must be here for the lantern, right? Oh, wow. Right on the nose. Uh, isn't Not it really. pretty obvious? <laughs> Anybody could have <laughs> guessed that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> You came at the perfect time. I was just letting everyone try my latest dish. Oh dear. The Let's... owner of Third Round Knockout says it's, it, well, a real knockout. <laughs> Mr. Zhongli and Hu Tao seem to like it too. 
But I think it never hurts to let more people do a taste test. Don't mind if I do, Shangri. How about it, you two? Would you like to have a taste? Huh. Don't have to ask Paimon twice! Or once, even! Thank you, but we're here to see Mr. Zhongli. Huh? You mean we're not gonna try any? Oh, fine. Let's get down to business. I guess. We meet again, traveler. I trust your journey is going well? Not bad. We've learned a lot along the way. Splendid. Therein lies the value of a journey. Hmm. So come on. Why are you looking for our good consultant? Do enlighten us. <laughs> and just in case you were wondering, we're on business too. We only tried Xiangling's dish since we just happened to be here. <laughs> business? What kind of business would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor possibly have during a festival? Accidental deaths, um, moving people to the beyond. Um, helping, or I should say, helping people move to the beyond. I don't know. <laughs> you know, because accidents happen everywhere. Even during the most joyous of holidays, life still follows its natural course, does it not? Is that really so surprising? <laughs> but there isn't a need to be alarmed. It's just a nice day today, and I thought we could go for a walk while doing a little promotion for our business. I, how did you get Zhang Li to do this? Do the promotion thing? That's what I want to know. Oh, you can go ahead and chat away. Xiang Ling and I will go have some tea with the boss over there. Oh, Zhang Li, please come get me when you're through here. Of course. I'll see you later, Director. This is nice seeing them actually interact for once in the game. Now then, Traveler. What brings you to see me today? Well, long story short... Hmm, yes. The Yuhang is honest, intelligent, and most diligent. She is capable of shouldering responsibilities that few others could. But everything has a balance, and one's health must certainly weigh in. Is there any way we can help her? Yeah! Everyone knows you're super knowledgeable! Paimon bets she would listen to someone like you! If I were still the mighty Rex Lapis, I might be able to help her see reason. But alas, I'm now nobody but an ordinary consultant. My words no longer carry the same weight as they once did. Yeah, mister, I can peer in dreams. Besides, I am by no means close to the Yuhang. Taking the liberty to lecture her may just as easily produce the opposite of the desired effect. Noted, but we just came here for advice so that we know what to say to her. I see this. Okay. We could take a more subtle, indirect approach to the matter. Or, you know, just say, as I'm a concerned friend, please take a break. A few minutes. Doesn't have to be long. Such as telling a story that resonates with her, containing your message conveyed within it. Okay. Such a story can be achieved by referencing topics from her daily life. The story could prove even more effective if you weave in something about someone close to her. <clears throat> uh, got you? Um, Hyman doesn't really get it. Let's go speak with the others who are familiar with Kaching. I knew you'd understand what to do. <laughs> well done, traveler. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> eh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Thank you for that little treat. Mm, I love the laugh. Thank you. Thank you. Go collect some source materials for your story. Of course, I can always provide you with my advice if needed. Yes, can we hear your advice, please? Once we have formulated the plot, you can tell the story to the Yuhang. Huh. Wait, me? You are on amiable terms with the Yuhang, which makes you the natural candidate. I thought we were going to go fucking gun you. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it! So we need to talk with people who know Kuching, right? Hmm. 
So who should we start with? Greetings, everyone. Uh, I hope I'm not intruding. Speak of the girl herself. Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching! <laughs> oh, Paimon, act normal, dude. <laughs> Mr. Zhongli, I didn't expect to see you here. Thank you for all your assistance during the rite of parting. You are most welcome, Yu Hung. It was the least I could do. Um, what are you doing here, Kuching? Hmm? Why? And what's with your strange expression? Oh, you said you were busy. Uh, oh, I see. My apologies. I appear to have interrupted your conversation with Mr. Zhongli. No, 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 not at all. Kuching, are you here looking for us? Yes, I was going to ask you to introduce me to the Adepti. I thought that it would be fitting to send them some festive gifts. On behalf of the Li Yue Qixing. Are we going to see Xiao? Please tell me we're going to see Xiao and Ganyu and Xinhua again. Please! But didn't you meet them when we were fighting to defend Liu at Harbor together? Not like on a personal level, Paimon. <laughs> You could just as easily go and find them in Juyun Cars. True. Yes, but we only met briefly on that single occasion. The Adepti may have already forgotten about me. And I'm concerned it would be imprudent to show up so suddenly. Makes sense, makes sense. Which is why I thought it would be more appropriate to ask you to introduce me first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, did you try asking Ganyu? Unfortunately, Ganyu is on leave at the moment, so I'm unable to get in touch with her. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm afraid I'll still require your assistance. Alright, I just wanted to make sure, you know, cover all the bases. So you even have to run around delivering gifts in person? <sighs> it sure doesn't seem easy to be a cheesing. We'll gladly help you. <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. Let me go and prepare the gifts. Okay. I'm sorry to make you run errands with me during our big festival. I promise to make this quick, and I'll be sure to get you back in time to enjoy the fireworks show. Great. Then we can go watch the fireworks together. Huh? T together What's wrong? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll go to see the fireworks with you once I've finished my work. Oh, please don't tell me there's a uh, hidden meaning behind watching fireworks here in Liwei with people. Uh, speaking of which, Mr. Zhongli... The fireworks show will be particularly exciting this year. Please, don't miss it. Ah, yes. Thank you for your kind reminder. <laughs> I should be going now. Traveler, please come find me at the Jade Chamber once you're ready. Okay. I'm probably gonna go do the other events first. Or the other two events. Get those started and then... And there she goes! Yep. That's the Yuhung. Efficient and reliable as ever. You're really reliable too, Zhongli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Why, thank you, Paimon. I'm so glad that everybody's like not ignoring Paimon, because in the beginning of the game, they were like ignoring her. So now there's more interactions with her between her and the NPCs and then the uh, other characters in the story. Please. Don't forget our earlier conversation. Once you've collected enough story material, we can meet here again and discuss things further. Okay. Is this how you do the, the dream thing with people? <laughs> ah, you've arrived. I've made all the necessary preparations and even packed some handmade snacks. Well, you've come prepared. Oh, that reminds me. I've also prepared some launch tubes made by Peng Yi. I hope the Adepti will like them. Is there anything else I should bring? Oh, that's what we're doing. I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> I think that should be everything. Good. In that case, let's first pay Madame Ping a visit in the city before heading out to Joy Yoon Karst. We are doing the Adepti one. Okay. The festive season is upon us. This is no time to be running hither and thither. We should relax and enjoy the season. Yeah, why are you still working, girl? <laughs> I get it, Granny, but you know... Having lots of clients is a good thing. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but really, child, who could be seeking your help during the lantern rite? <laughs> hmm. You'd be surprised. I was gonna say. <laughs> Madam 
Happy Lantern, right? It's a pleasure to see you again, Madam Ping. How are you? Oh dear, well, look who's here. I'm so glad to see you all in time for the festival. Hello, traveler. Long time no see. Hi. Oh, and Lady Kuching is here too. The Qixing have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds, which I pick specifically for you, Madam Ping. Yeah, because she gave us the, 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 the seed farming thing and for the teapot, so yeah, it makes sense. I brought all the, the lighter box. gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. The, what is it, seed box, so where you can pick seeds when we're out in the wild, that thing. Please, <laughs> accept our humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous. Please be sure to thank the Chising on our behalf. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. Thank you very much, Kuching. Mm, she's a very good girl. Please, <laughs> enjoy them. We intend to visit the other Adepti as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. Yep. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? Yes, they should be over in Zhueyun Cast. I hope we get to see Xiao. <laughs> By the way, I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. You decorated the city so beautifully, yet you don't even have the time to go and see it for yourself. What a pity. You'll have time. We'll make sure of it. Yenfei really enjoys spending time at the festival. You'll find her wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Mm -hmm. Come on, Granny. I wasn't wandering around. I was providing essential consultation to my clients. Oh, is that <laughs> so? Were you also holding consultations with clients while you stood in front of the grilled tiger fish stand for all that time? Oh, you're, you're cut! You're cut! As a matter of fact, I was helping them calculate the prices. It's not easy, you know. I had to check a lot of different items. So you're working during Lantern Right too? That's right. There are no holidays in my line of work. I have to be ready whenever my clients need me. <sighs> Ever so busy for the consultant. Or the lawyer or Liyue. That sounds exhausting. Oh, Paimon can't imagine a life without holidays! Me either, man. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Must be nice. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be hard to land new cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Oh, but I believe that. <laughs> Besides, uh, what's the saying? Ah, yes. A rested worker is an efficient worker. Have you been to the festival yet, Kaching? Bro, that is a good thing because, like, she's workaholic right here, Miss Thing. <laughs> take some of that advice, Kaching, and take a break. I was there many times when I was supervising the festival construction, but I haven't been there since. I was gonna say, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I was planning to go after I finished my work, but the work keeps piling up. I ended up completely forgetting about it. Let's go together once you're finished with your work. <laughs> yes, I should take the opportunity to show you around while you're here. But first, we should head to Joy Yun Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam mm. Ping. We'll be leaving now. Let's see... Which Adeptus shall we visit first? Yep. All right. Cloud retainer it is. Mm -hmm. I love this song, man. <laughs> I use it when I study. It's a great song. Can you? The festive season is fast approaching. What brings you to one's abode? Has the Ministry of Civil Affairs simply run out of work for you to do? I doubt it. 
Well, with Lantern Rite just around the corner, I decided it was a good time to take leave and pay you a visit. What are you doing? You're supposed to go watch it with her. But, um, where are Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper? My thoughts exactly, because I haven't seen them since the, um, Leeway arc. Them? Oh, don't even get one started. Bro, come on, I want to see them too. Oh, is that not the Traveler and the Yu Hong too? Hmm, a rare visitor indeed. You can say that. Happy Lantern Rite, everybody! Happy Lantern Rite. Greetings, Venerable Adeptus. And greetings, Ganyu. Huh? Lady Kuching, I didn't expect to see you here. Of course not. I don't... Because she's like, you're expecting her to be working or enjoying the festivities and she's the not doing it. The of the Chising. Here. Most fascinating. Okay. Hmm. Most courteous of you to travel hither and pay your respects. What is the purpose of your visit, if one may ask? It's the festive season, and on behalf of the Chishing, I'd like to give you our regards. Please, accept our humble gifts. As the governing body of Liyue, the Chishing must be busy with a myriad of affairs. And yet, you still take the time to visit one in this mountain abode. Eminently considerate of you. We invite them to be uh, fireworks. Oh, what an amusing cylindrical device. I wonder what that could be. Now look, I see a thing that I can do. <laughs> this is a new type of firework which has been modified by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liyue being ruled by humans. I'm sorry. <laughs> the music started playing. Maybe she thinks humans are still too young to handle it. Hmm. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. Before then... We should try to give her a good impression. <laughs> good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets, so she will certainly appreciate this gift. Ganyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. I've given everything thorough consideration. It should all go well. You must be proud of yourself. <laughs> Goodness me. Whoever would have thought? Oh, my, how very interesting. Well, she's intrigued indeed. It is intricate with ingenious design and is aesthetically agreeable. Of course, because it has to look good as much as function. Yes, judging from Cloud Retainer's expression, it seems this gift was a success. Very good. One shall gladly accept this device. Hmm, it worked. One surmises from Ganyu's words that you also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Pity, your timing is most unfortunate. Oh, come on. I want to see them again. Oh, are they not home? Oh, we wanted to see them too. Hmm, those two old fossils. <laughs> Moon Carver has been most anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares. But the agreement was clear. Liyue is now in the hands of the Chi Sing, and he cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. Of course not. He doesn't have to do that, though. He can just walk in and say hi. <laughs> I understand these. These. Uh, okay. So one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human, and take a brief look around. Alas, he is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Now I want to see what he would look like as a human! Thereafter he left, claiming to have gone traveling. He has not returned since. Ah. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded. 
But he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. Babe. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures, and one has not heard from him since. Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots rusing to excuse themselves that they might venture behind one's back to scurry away and go traveling together. Oh, they left her behind? That would suck. <laughs> they actually have a sense of humor and it's great. <laughs> it seems possible. Huh? What's everybody doing here? Shut up! <laughs> this voice... Is it Shenha? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh? So Shenha is here too! Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Mm. Is she the one that you mentioned before? I, you guys have not crossed paths once in your old lives. Come on. Hello, everyone. Shenha! Shenha, this is Ganyu. You have most likely heard of her. Uh, oh, <clears throat> hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I've heard that you returned to Liyua Harbor recently, so if you need anything, please feel free to come to me. I will. Thank you. I mean, we just, I literally just played her story quest thing, um, or the J Chamber thing, and it's like, I'm happy to see her again. <laughs> I brought some food from the city. I heard that during Lantern Rite, people in Liyue bring food to share with their friends. So here I am. Hmm, I'm very thoughtful. But I didn't like roll for her because I'm saving for uh, a certain fox lady. <laughs> and the Kamisato leader. Afterwards, hopefully, I can get both. Oh no, I made a point of not bringing any food offerings. Is it going to be okay? Okay, the words don't matter. <laughs> okay. Oh, and you even brought food for those two old fossils. Oh, wow, she's angry about them traveling together without her. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shenhe. <sighs> huh? She was worried that she might have to cook cook real quick. Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? She's such a mom! Will do. Yes, understood. This place is much livelier than I'd imagined. Sounds like it's time we change the topic. <laughs> Speaking of which, have you seen Xiao? The conqueror of demons? One has not seen him of late. Why don't we just call him? Because he seems to respond to us. Well, then he's probably not enjoying Karst. Hmm. Let's go look for him in his usual spot at Wang Shuin. Yay! In short, one is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Joyun Karst for the festival. Had gone you not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please accept my profuse apologies. Don't apologize. <laughs> she loves seeing her children. <laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first <laughs> time one has been interrupted on your account. As a youngling, you did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? Oh, I can't wait to hear about this. Oh? Huh? Oh no, here she goes again. This could spell trouble for Ganyu. Oh, I love that Kaching's looking out for Ganyu. It's so cute! Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. Chicken! <laughs> oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Aw, oh, she's shy. <laughs> uh, n no. 
It's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I want to hear more stories. A matter so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? Mm-hmm. Sounds suspicious, can you? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes. Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and... Gan Yu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. Lady Kuching is trying to help me. Of course, she's your friend! <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. Hurry, run away, you dickhead! <laughs> huh, gone already. That child... She has always been easily ruffled. Well, yeah, because you always tell about her embarrassing stories and she wants to avoid them as much as possible. <laughs> One can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Nearly every matter in Liu e Harbor, momentous or trivial, passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. Yep. But even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health. Lest she fall prone to exhaustion. See, another one. Kuching, listen to the people surrounding you. Ganyu is an assiduous worker, apt to foregoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. Yeah, you and Kuching and Ganyu have the same thing. Y'all need to rest. I will. Ganyu <clears throat> has always been a great asset to us. Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. Same applies to you, lady. The Yu Hung, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liue Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles, <clears throat> hmm, they do look delectable indeed. You may leave them here. Shen he shall bring these into one's abode. And one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once they have made their return. This firework has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough study of it. And one also wants to hear what Shenha has learned in Liyue Harbor. Hang on. How long would that be for the other two Adepti to come back to their abodes? Because wouldn't the food rot by then? <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, hang on. Oh, yes. I have many interesting stories to tell. I bet. Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. You'll continue your research even during Lantern, right? Yeah! Don't you rest during the holidays? This is a festive season after all. It's okay to take a break for a day. On a holiday, it's fine. <sighs> One has long been living secluded in the mountains, and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Of course, otherwise I will come back and tell you to rest. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. Yep. Is it really that important to test it yourself? She's a scientist, an inventor. Of course. <laughs> of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. If one <clears throat> spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome, hmm, hey. that would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? That's about right. It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. That's an analogy I haven't heard before. <laughs> <sighs> Enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shenha, this way. Bye. Mm, it was like very brief, but though. Shenha doesn't get to try their own food? Mm, that would be kind of weird. You sure caught on to that one quickly. Cloud Retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. Though, she can be a bit strange sometimes. But then again, she is an Adeptus. 
<laughs> but because she's an adeptus, she gets an excuse. Okay. <laughs> That's the wisdom of an adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. <laughs> what an interesting character. Very. <laughs> like, she's so... She's so, um, what's the word? Secluded. But she's so sociable whenever everybody visits her. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wangshu Inn. Perhaps we'll find the conqueror of demons there. Okay.